welcome back to another weekly vlog it is currently monday morning and i'm just getting somewhat ready ish i'm not working today but benny has a vet appointment he has to get i think it's a booster i don't know one of his shots he's due for and then i also made an appointment for him at the grooming place in PetSmart. and then i also have a couple things that i need to get at target well, we're over there, it's right next to the Pet Smart. Oh, and I was also, as you saw this morning, kind of rearranging a little bit of my decor and like plants and stuff. I renewed my lease. Now that I know that I am definitely gonna be staying here, my lease is not going to be up now until March of 2024. So I'm gonna be here for almost a year and a half. I may as well just change things up a little bit. So I kind of changed up what was happening above the cabinets a little bit. I had these two real plants, the snake plant and the fiddle leaf fig, and I just didn't really have room for them. I didn't really know where to put them. And I was like, you know, I had a bunch of like fake stuff up there. I was like, why don't I just put the real plants? It gets a decent amount of light up there throughout the day. I just want to get like some kind of little basket or a different pot or something to put that in because I feel like it just looks really bare up there like that so i will see when i go to target what i can find and then i was like changing up my bar cart a tiny bit i had these little baby bottles that were just kind of sitting up here loose and i thought they would just look better in some kind of bowl and i was gonna buy something but then i remembered that i had a bunch of these little decorative bowls that i had bought a while ago from at home so just use one of those um, and my little like knick-knacky things, I just kind of moved around. I was playing around with the bookshelf a little bit, moving some things around. I washed the curtains in here the other day, so I need to hang those back up. Wash the covers on my throw pillow, so I have to put those back. Look at these frog legs. And I got a new rug, which is still rolled up over there so either later today or tomorrow i'm gonna vacuum and shampoo the floor in here and then we'll roll up that rug put out the new one i also need to vacuum and shampoo my couch it got a little stinky from these two still dog sitting for my friend she is actually coming back tomorrow so it's gonna be our last night with xena I have a couple things that I want to do out on my balcony as well. I want to wash the cushions on these chairs and then I ordered a new outdoor rug that's waterproof because the one that I had out here was actually an indoor rug and it got really disgusting so I just threw it out the other day. Um, so waiting for that new one to come in and it's gonna be a bigger size too than the one I had so that'll be nice and then I have some outdoor string lights that I want to hang up along the railing those are in here and I've had them for months now so all of that I'm planning on doing throughout the next day or two I'm very excited I love home decor stuff so this is gonna be a really fun video but I need to head out to bring him to his appointment I'm back um <laughs> tons of money spent later but that actually wasn't bad I thought that was gonna be way more it was like 20 bucks he just needed one little shot we were in and out in less than 10 minutes it was great apparently they can't get grooming services at, at PetSmart anyway within 48 hours of getting any kind of vaccines luckily PetSmart was literally right next to Target which is where I had to go anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. So we just had to reschedule. So he didn't get his bath or anything, but went to the vet, went to Target, um, and then I got an oil change. And I just had like a list of some household essentials, like bleach and stuff like that. And then somehow I walked out of there spending like $250. But I really, like I'm one of those people that I really, I don't want to say I'm cheap, but I'm just like very money conscious and I just hate spending money. Like if it's something to treat myself with or something that's like a necessity, then, you know, yes, of course I will do that. 
but I don't often like just blow a lot of money at one time because I know a lot of people spend a shit ton of money every time they go to Target, not me. Like I will usually have a list, I stick to that list, but this time I was like, you know, let me just, just get what I want. So yeah, got a big pack of toilet paper, also got paper towels, tissues, I am also like a generic store brand bitch all the way, like with pretty much everything. I needed more Windex, store brand, needed more bleach, got some pet odor eliminating Febreze, which I definitely need. And then I got some dry Swiffer pads, rubbing alcohol, air freshener for breeze and then i got some carpet cleaner oxyclean extra strength carpet odor eliminator it's just like a powder you sprinkle on to fabric surfaces let it sit for a little bit and then vacuum it up that's what i'm going to use to clean my couch with and then this is like kind of random but i have this little vase next to my tv and i've been like depending on the season, switching out what I put in there. So I just saw this, it was five bucks, and I thought it would be the perfect little thing to just stick in there when it's time to decorate for Christmas. I'll show you that little thing right there, which is actually a soap dispenser that I wasn't using at the moment. So I have those little things in there that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put this with my Christmas decorations. That'll be next month's thing. And then this was like, just a spontaneous thing, but like I said, I've just been kind of changing up little things in the apartment, and my bathroom is all white. White shower curtain, white bath mat, white towels, and I like that because it just gives me like a really clean hotel kind of vibe, but I thought that I would just get a new bath mat so that I could kind of switch it up a little bit, and this one is like the softest most plush material like i want to use it as a blanket it feels amazing and i love the color of it so i thought this would be cute to just add a little pop of color i think i'm gonna still just keep the shower curtain i was looking at some of the shower curtains they had there there weren't really any that i like fell in love with so i didn't want to just buy a new one just for the sake of having something new if i didn't really love it you know so I'm gonna keep an eye out and if I happen to see something that stands out to me, maybe I'll switch that out too. But for now, I'm just gonna keep the plain white one I have. And then I got a hand towel to match. And this is like a really nice soft plush material too. This is from Casa Luna and the bath mat is from Threshold. It's the Micro Polyester Spa Bath Rug. And then lastly, which I am most excited about, I got these bar stools, which I had been thinking about swapping out the bar stools for a while. The ones that I had were, they had like came in a set with a table that I had like two apartments ago. It was super cheap from Wayfair and they worked fine, but they weren't the most comfortable to be honest because they had like that straw wicker seat, which like looked cute, but it didn't feel the most comfortable to sit on. And I had been wanting to get replacement ones that would be a little bit more comfortable and just look a little bit nicer and kind of go with the rest of the decor in this space. They were $65 each, which isn't terrible and they had a display one and it looked beautiful and it felt like really sturdy and pretty good quality. And the actual seat part looked pretty big. So it looks, and it like dips down a little bit. So I, it looks like it would be comfortable to sit on. So let's put these together and see, I'm just gonna do one first and see how I like it.
Okay, I think the time has come for the new rug. I got the couch all nice and clean. It smells so good. I cleaned the carpet, rolled up the old rug, which is over there. I need to put that in my storage closet outside. So cute, I love it. Cause it has a really cool bold print and it pops a little bit against the carpet because of the black, but it's still neutral colors. So I don't have to worry about it clashing depending on how I'm decorating for the seasons. And it ties in the black dresser. I know it looks kind of small like that. I'm gonna see how it looks when I put the coffee table on it. I'm kind of thinking about getting a really big like jute rug, maybe a white color or something neutral to put underneath it so I can do a layered look. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments what you think, cause I do kind of feel like it just looks like a random circle in the middle of the floor. I'm gonna put the coffee table on it and see how it looks. I don't think it looks bad, but I definitely think layering it with like a really big, like picture a white jute rug, like a really big one that covers this entire floor underneath that. I feel like that would look like more complete, but again, let me know down below what you think about that. Oh, and here's how the bar stools look. They are so cute, I love them. And I love how they match the coffee table. It just like ties everything together. And I tested them out. They are way more comfortable than the ones I had before. So not only are they cuter, I think, but they're more functional because they're more comfortable. And you can see how it like dips down a little bit. So it's really comfortable to sit on. And then in the bathroom, I feel like on camera, because the lighting is so warm in here, the green doesn't look like true to color like it does in person. It just ties in really nicely with the green that I have in the artwork and my eucalyptus that's in the shower and the plant that I put in here now that was on top of my kitchen cabinets. That is from Home Goods, by the way. So I'm just gonna finish straightening up in here. I did find a basket at Target to put that plant in, but I wasn't 100% sure because I forgot to get the measurements of that before I left. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit, and I measured that, and it's actually gonna be the perfect fit, I think. So when I go for Benny's grooming appointment in a couple of days, I will just run in Target real quick and grab that, and it's like a little wicker basket. I think it'll look really cute and tie in nicely. And then as far as everything out on the balcony, I might just do that tomorrow or some other time later this week. I need to check the tracking on that outdoor rug and see when that's supposed to arrive. I'm exhausted for today. It's now 4.13, so I am gonna make myself some lunch finally and um, take the dogs out. But I got a lot done today. I feel really good. It smells amazing in here. It looks really cute and yeah, I'm super excited. It's just interesting how like little changes, I know it doesn't really look that different in here, but to me, all these little changes I notice obviously and it just makes such a big difference and it just makes it feel like a refreshed space and just makes me like, I don't know, excited about my home. Good afternoon. It's the next day, I bought that glass cleaner and I have not cleaned my mirror with it yet. This little girl is going home. Her mom is on the way back to town. She's gonna come pick her up later today. But I'm about to head to work at the salon. I wanted to show you my outfit because I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like super cute right now. I just got this dress from, listen, I know, People are gonna give me shit about it. I got it from Shein, and I just think that it's so cute, and it's really flattering. I love that it cinches in at the waist. And then this cropped denim jacket is from Zara. Shoes are from H&M. They're like inspired by the Doc Martin ones. I got these a few years ago, so I'm not sure if they're still gonna be available. I'll try to find them. If not, I'll just link the Doc Martin ones. But they are by far the most comfortable 
shoes or some of the most comfortable shoes that I own and I just love them so much and I decided to do a little bit of a side part all of my fellow Millennials can relate I'm sure side parts were it back in the day side part and like the side bangs the swooshy side bangs oh my god they were everything back in like early to mid 2000s and I always religiously wore a side part up until like college when the Kardashians started becoming like really popular and then it was all about the middle part and I've been a middle part girl ever since and I did a little winged shadow moment which I do every so often if I just want to add a little something. I used the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop. I literally just put bronzer in my crease. That was it. Nothing exciting. And then I took that dark purpley color on a flat angled brush. This right here, little flat angled brush. And I just did a little flick on either side and just kind of like blended it up to my top and bottom lid. Bye guys, you be good, okay? i see you when I get back. Well, maybe not you, Zena. Love you guys, be good. I have all of her stuff. I think her mom is probably gonna come get her while I'm still at work. So, I'm leaving all that there for her. And yeah, it should be good. I will see you when I get back. Good morning. It is so damn cold outside. For me, it's really cold. I, it's 41 degrees. Okay, that's cold for down here. And even in my apartment, it says it's 67 degrees, which I, <laughs> personally, I like to keep the temperature always at like 73, 75. I never go lower than 72. I left my window cracked like this whole past week or so. It's actually been like really nice like during the day. Sorry, Benny's drinking. But last night it got really cold compared to how it's been. And it's just like set my allergies off. I took an allergy pill. And now that I shut the window, hopefully <laughs> I'll be okay. Just need a minute. Last night I got home from work and I was exhausted. Like, so, so tired. I don't know what the hell came over me. I just had dinner, washed my face, and went right to bed. Normally, when I get home from work, I like to sit on the couch a little bit and, like, watch a show or something. I couldn't even do that. I tried to put something on, and I couldn't even make it, like, five minutes. I was like, fuck this. I'm going to bed. But it's Wednesday now. I'm going to go have my coffee. I'll see you a little later. Oh, and by the way, we're back to a one-dog household. It's several hours later. I'm about to leave to go to the salon. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this cropped bell sleeved sweater that I've had for years now from Zara. These jeans from Target, which I've also had for a few years now. And these shoes also from Target that I've also had for a few years. Yeah, I'm gonna work tonight, but that's gonna basically be it for my day. I'll probably get home pretty late like usual when I'm closing. The answer is she knows he can't live without her. He molested his son on a school field trip. Please look into it. Good morning. I still haven't gotten around to cleaning my mirror or washing my sheets or hanging my curtains back up. I haven't done anything in my bedroom but I have off tomorrow so I'm gonna get all of that done then but I am about to head out just wanted to show you my outfit real quick the sweater is from H&M faux leather pants from Zara these boots are Steve Madden and then these earrings one of my friends from beauty school during quarantine started making these handmade earrings in like a bunch of different designs and I had bought these from her a couple years ago. I don't think she's making them anymore. She's like a full-time hairstylist, super busy, so I doubt she has time for it anymore. But um, yeah, aren't they so cute? I'm just not usually like a statement earring kind of person, but I felt like wearing my hair pulled back today. And I thought, oh, perfect opportunity to 
wear some cute earrings and these are like really comfortable and lightweight so yeah and I just pulled my hair back and then I split it in two and then I just twisted the two pieces around each other and tied it off on the end with a rubber band so we got a little twisty thing going on i am taking benny to his grooming appointment that we had to reschedule from earlier in the week and then i'm gonna rush back here hopefully have enough time to make myself a quick lunch and then i'm gonna go to the salon i have to be there at three but i'm gonna head out i'll see you later So much cuter. It's literally like half an inch too short. You can see a little bit of the black pot sticking up the top, but it doesn't bother me from down here. I feel like you can't tell. It just looks like it's part of the basket. And yeah, I think it looks so much cuter. That basket was from the brand Bright Room and it was 10 bucks. And it's really similar to the one that I have over here actually it might be the exact same one i also impulsively bought these when i was at target they are so soft they're from the stars above line which i have some pajamas from this line that are like the softest most buttery material and this is also super soft they were 20 bucks and it's so funny like what an impractical type of shoe unless you live in the south like winter sandals and i think i'm gonna actually wear them today because it's kind of chilly out, but once you're moving about and you're in the sun, I was kind of getting a little bit hot. So I think I'm gonna ditch the boots and do these sandals instead. Benny is all groomed, so handsome. Got his nails cut, got a bath, got brushed, got his teeth brushed. It was way faster than I thought. I asked them an estimate of how long they thought it was gonna take and they said like one to two hours and like 40 minutes later they called me saying he was ready so now i have extra time i don't have to leave for work for like an hour and 15 minutes so i'm gonna watch one more episode of the watcher i am obsessed with that show i started watching it last night when i got home from work and as soon as i got up this morning i was like that is the first thing i want to do is put that show on it's so good and i think i have two more episodes left they're like an hour long so i'm gonna watch one more and then that way i can watch the last episode when i get home later it's the next day like i said i have off from the salon today and i think this random cold front that we had is finally going away and i thought you know i have the day off it's nice out this is the perfect opportunity to finish all of my little like home decor tweaks and complete the balcony i told you guys i had ordered a new outdoor rug it arrived last night so this is the rug you can see the seams in it because it folds up and it actually came with this cute little carrying bag. Everything that I got, all like the new stuff that I showed you, I will try to link everything in the description. I laid it out last night so that it could kind of flatten. And then I washed the cushions from my outdoor chairs and I cleaned the little table I have out here. The chairs that I have came in like a big outdoor set from Home Depot. I got it a few years ago online. And then the little table that I have is from a few years ago from Amazon. So I'm gonna put the new rug out there, put the cushions back on the chairs, and then wipe down the banister so that I can hang up my outdoor lights. So here's the stuff I have for outside. I got these outdoor string lights from five below and then i got these command hooks and then i have this outdoor extension cord i've literally had this stuff i still have the receipt in here when did i get this stuff july july 1st so i have had this stuff like basically all summer just sitting in a bag finally putting it up now end of october okay it's several hours later i was hanging up the lights outside and then i realized they're not as long as i thought they were 
And at the time when I bought them, I literally was like, oh, I, I thought to myself, maybe I should get a second box just to be on the safe side. They're only $5, but I didn't. So I went back to Five Below today to see if by some miracle they still had those same lights and they didn't have anything. I could just set those aside and just buy different lights, but I honestly don't care enough to do that. So just using what I have. So I'll show you how they look. They don't go all the way across from one end to the other, but I still think that it looks okay. And at night when they're gonna be lit up, I don't really think you can tell. That's how they look. I think it looks fine. There's the rug and the chairs. And honestly, I feel like if I had more lights than that, it would just be too lit up and I would feel weird sitting out there because I would feel like everybody could see me. So I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. I'm happy with it. All I have left to do now is finish straightening up my bedroom. I still have to hang up those curtains and I washed all of my bed sheets today. They're actually in the dryer still. So I'm gonna go make my bed and get ready for bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good afternoon. Don't mind all the noise. I have the dishwasher going and I have sneakers in the dryer, which is super loud. I finally finished everything in my apartment. Everything is put away. It's all clean in here and all of the little like redecorating things I wanted to do are now complete. So I'll do a quick little tour and show you how everything is looking. And I didn't like, you know, stage it to look perfect. Like the pillows and everything on the couch are like kind of messy, but anyway, the rug, I am still obsessed with. I love it. Like the quality of it is just so good. It's such a nice thick material. I feel like it'll just last for a very, very long time. And I'm still not sure how I feel about putting a bigger rug underneath and layering them. I feel like when I'm looking at it through the viewfinder, I'm like, oh yeah, it definitely needs a rug underneath it. But then when I look at it in person, I feel like it just looks good as is. I don't know, on camera it looks so much smaller. We'll see. And over here, I didn't really change much, but I kind of, like all my little knick-knacky things, I kind of moved around a little bit. I stuck a couple of those things in this vase. And this is the bar stools. Very happy about those. So up there is looking, I really, really love that basket. Obsessed with the balcony. I obviously showed you that already, but I'm loving this rug. Oh, I also got this food container, which has wheels, which is so convenient for Benny's food. And I didn't really have a great place to put it, so I just put it next to the garbage can here. I feel like that works. And honestly, I'd rather it be out in the open so that it's just easy access. And the bathroom, loving how it looks in here. And my bedroom, I finally hung up the curtains, as you saw, and I washed all my bed sheets. I finally cleaned my mirror properly. Look at that, no more smudges, nice and clear. I have throw pillows and a throw blanket, like this little tray, and it looks really cute when I like really make my bed and stage it and all that. Sorry, I just didn't feel like doing that. Cause realistically, I'm just gonna get back in bed tonight and I would have had to take all that stuff off again anyway. It just feels so good to have a nice clean space. I even like dusted all of the ceiling fans. It's nice to just like have everything done and just have a clean space and to just have a home that is mine and that feels like home and it just feels like so cozy and homey and i feel so safe here like i just i really really love my apartment so yeah hopefully this inspired you to you know maybe do like little changes in your space you don't have to spend a lot of money even if you're just keeping everything that you already have but just moving 
it all around swapping out like maybe take the rug in your bedroom and swap it with the one in the living room like i said before little things can make such a big difference sometimes and i think it's nice to just change up your space a little bit and just do something that just makes it feel like fresh and exciting but i'm gonna end this vlog here so that i can get to editing it thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you have an amazing week i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow so i will see you very soon in my next one bye